Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed or remain poor and broke and serve your Jesus and yet God comes to say no don't mind Satan there is a way that you can bow to me and your heart remains with me and you will still possess that gold and Satan says you try it in this kingdom and see what happens so now when you come and say I will not bow to Babylon I will not bow to the statue of Nebuchadnezzar yet I will be able to access the resources of heaven. Let me tell you what will happen. All hell will break loose over you because Satan will say you are trying to align with the patterns of heaven that a man can have gold in his hands and God in his heart. It's not allowed in the dealing of Satan. No. The gold should be both in your heart and in your hand. So is it possible to be wealthy and yet be madly in love with God. And people tell you, forget that thing. There's nothing like that. Is that true? There is a spiritual pattern for building your faith. Do you know there are many believers, their faith has been in nursery one for more than 15 years. It has not even moved to primary one, not to talk of secondary school. When will their faith write Waek, write Jab? and get to the university for heaven's sake let me tell you faith is like a little boy if a child does not grow something is wrong this is the victory that overcomes even our faith that means if your faith is not growing the devil is going to crush your life at some point in this world what is faith conviction simple conviction and the action that you take based on that conviction conviction should grow that means as you rise and grow in the things of god listen let me tell you you can't be born again for five years and still be asking some questions about god god are you really there if something is wrong that means your faith has not been built are you getting what i'm saying now yes that a man's faith can be built so that as a new believer come my dear this lady just gives her life to christ Maybe she gave her life to Christ this year and she's crying and said, Lord, there are all kinds of challenges in my life. Where are you? And you too, you are her pastor. You've been born again for 10 years and you are joining her and say, Lord, two of us are crying. Where are you? It, God is going to hold you responsible and say, no, I don't expect that from you. You should have seen my faithfulness and my track record enough to believe me even if you cannot see anything. This person is a young believer. And God, you will be surprised that God will answer her prayer. God will owe her an explanation. And she will see the Lord come to her in a dream. My daughter, the same mistake Zechariah made was the same mistake Mary made. They punished one and God explained to the other. Because Zechariah was a priest. How shall these things be? Zechariah, you are going to interrupt something. The punishment for not discerning is we are going to lock your mouth until John is born. Mary is asking the same question. How shall these things be? And Gabriel takes out time to say, all right, let me tell you how it will happen. The power of the highest will come upon you. God has expectations. When you train somebody, you send a child to school, you are paying 100,000, and after three years, he can't speak well. You are asking him, read A, B, C, D. And he's not getting anything. And you are seeing the PTA letter. The school fees are saying, you, you go out and, and find out what is going on in that school. Either the child is not serious or the teachers are not serious. There's something somewhere. My brothers and my sisters, your faith has to grow. Because this kingdom operates by faith. If your faith does not grow, how do you receive? Faith is like the strength of your hand. Carry this pulpit as a gift. And give one of these little boys. They can't hold it. So God will not waste it. You have to build capacity enough to receive what you are praying for. There are many people praying for what their faith cannot receive. And so God says build your faith so that your answer will come speedily. 
Lord, give me 5,000 members. And God is saying, you have not built your faith to stand the persecution that it takes to be a pastor of 5,000 people. 50 people just quarreled and said A and B about you. You are there crying all around. How in the world are you going to deal with 5,000 people? How do you build your faith? By reading newspapers? No, sir. By reading storybooks? No, sir. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That means to saturate your spirit literally with the word of God. It becomes your obsession. For every challenge in life, there is a scripture that wells up. I tell you this thing I said just even me it entered me it really touched me are we together you can't have believers everybody claiming spiritual growth and just because you don't have food to eat you go around frowning at heaven Lord where are you that this is happening and God will say I thought I explained to you five years ago I should still do it again are you still questioning my faithfulness? But let me tell you the faith of one who has been built. You will see him sit down and say, where is the food? And he says, I've not eaten for two days. He says, so why are you worshiping? He says, no, no, that's a, that's a done deal. We are dealing with serious matters with God. I know that my stomach needs to eat, but will I be honest to go back to God and now say, God, you are not faithful? No, we've left the issue of faithful or no faithful. Hmm. Your faith has grown. Your conviction about God a landlord is coming in the next one hour to chase you out and they just see you with your rechargeable you are just listening to a song and they say are you aware that you are about to be embarrassed you say well i have learned by experience that my life belongs to god i've done my best i'm not irresponsible i would like to watch god take the shame for the first time and while you sit down there like a fool your foolishness will yield a result that will make you afraid do you know why we don't get many outstanding testimonies? I am telling you, many people don't believe God enough to receive those kinds of testimonies. If you ever, if you ever receive an outstanding testimony, you must be willing to be in the midst of the situation that necessitates the hand of God that far. We don't hear outstanding testimonies again. Just scientific doctor testimonies all around. Because people don't have the faith enough to believe God. This is the victory. How is your job going to come? Just by submitting CVs is a joke. You are going to engage this thing till it works. Please hear what I'm saying. I'm teaching you patterns. This is what I do. Ask those who know me. Till today, till tomorrow, I speak over koinonia. I don't sit and say, okay, we are rising and, and nothing grows by itself. You engage it. Prayer department is praying on Tuesday. I'm there sending my own fire. You are there praying and God is raising other people in the name of Jesus. This ministry is rising. The word is prevailing. People are testifying. You have to build your faith. You drop your CV and complain for one year. Believe me, I tell you this in the name of the Lord. No door will open like that. Is God speaking to us now? You have a responsibility to build your faith. God has dealt unto every man a measure of faith. A measure of faith is like giving you a seed. I give you a seed. Go to the farm. Farm there. Water it. Don't see weeds and pretend that that's not weed. Weed it and make sure a harvest grows. You are brooding over every dark. You are causing lights to shine in darkness. You are brooding over every Listen, you get five reports in one day. Ah, something happened to somebody somewhere. The money that is supposed to come to you, your boss shut down. And you just sit down and just say, well, life, life self can be unfair. That's, that's, that's an unbelieving approach. Every night when I wake up, I'm prophesying, walking, because I know that they build it and prosper through the prophesying of a guy. Let me tell you, there are times I'm playing a message from my phone and another message from my laptop. The goal is not to hear it. The goal is to saturate the atmosphere. Two different messages at the same time. Fire is rising from here. Fire is rising from here. And you are backing it up, blasting in tongues. Sometimes it's worship song and a message. No 
nobody will build. There are many lazy men of God that want power. Power is not a charm. My brothers and my sisters, you walk this thing. It's the same way you, you do your, you go to the gym. Say, I have a responsibility to build my faith. I can know you have weak faith by the communication that comes out of you. The ease to discouragement is proof that your faith is small. Let me tell you. Please listen. Are we learning tonight? That means if you find out that every fiery dart, remember the instrument that quenches the fiery dart is the shield of faith. The shield of faith must be big and strong enough that when the devil fires the fiery dart, you can shield it. Discouragement. It can be through your biological father through your biological mother. It can even be through a man of God. You are a useless son. You are a useless lady. Your boss will look at you and say, I've never seen a stupid worker like you. And the devil records that stupid worker and you keep hearing it. And someone whose faith has been built, as soon as you get out of his office, Shabakaboske Dabata, Rakoske Diakatosh. The Bible says that rejected stone will later be the chief cornerstone. But this is what many of us do. You sit back there and allow the word to enter and sit in your spirit and when the word sits in your spirit because your heart is a soil it will grow so what came as stupid boy will grow to become complex it will grow to become a mindset it will grow and then demon spirits see a nice tree of hatred growing and they come and pitch over it and you find out that bitterness the small thing that was just an insult from a careless boss has become bitterness you hate the success of every other person because of the pain of allowing a wrong seed grow you can kill seeds the bible told us that if satan can steal the word of god that means you can cast out any seed that is not of god don't allow any seed to just grow in your heart like that some of us hold on some of us have wrong associations and that's where the voice of darkness comes into our life oh i'm trusting god for grace i'm sensing the call of god upon me um, you know for ministry and the friend looks at you and says, you mean god doesn't have people again you mean god has, has, has chosen to waste his time on you and you too you sit down you will laugh as if it's just a joke in passing but later you sit down and say kai this thing and reject the call of God upon your life and start hating every man of God because they remind you of something you should be doing that you are not doing the devil is a liar tonight 99% of jealousy comes from this little thing that I'm telling you the personal defeat that was incurred because you didn't have a shield of faith any battle that you lose in the spirit realm when you see people gaining victory in the physical you will fight them you have a responsibility to build your faith i can tell you my brothers and my sisters the reason why it looks like for many of us that certain dimensions of our lives prayers are not being answered is because we don't have capacity enough to receive it i'm telling you this Are we together now? When you read your Bible only once a month, when you read your Bible only during koinonia, when you open to any verse, any day, any time, you just close your eyes, J-E-S-U-S, -S, and you open Ezra chapter 4, you will never build your faith that way. It's amazing the things that believers do. In the name of, you give your spiritual life five minutes and you give your social life two hours, ten hours. You watch a movie from morning till night for ten hours. Even during work, you lock the laptop with the movie, go to the office, continue watching it. And here is something that can bless you. Thank God for technology. There are Bibles on, on tape, on MP3 different versions there are people who have already gathered worship songs i think there's one of this co collection of koinonia worship songs for close to one hour or thereabout you suck your spirit someone is knocking your door 
and you already have discerned through the years that that person is a faithless because faithlessness can be imparted someone can come and say hi i just came back from the market are you aware say, where, where did i get the money to go to the market <laughs> sit down let me tell you the price of beans now let me tell you the price of rice are you aware that we are even suffering this this world there is no way out and the moment they leave you you sit down turn to your wife turn to your children and say god why what what brought me here the moment you get to that level of that sober is not is it's not piety it's an attack the next thing you bring out your ATM and you look how much is here home and abroad everything I have is hundred thousand Lord how are we going to rise whoever told you all that is this all that you have is because you don't believe the Bible says we have been given listen listen Paul was teaching us that we have been given all blessings in spiritual in heavenly places in Christ either you think God is lying and it is a church doctrine to believe on Sunday or you believe it and say Lord I believe Lord, I believe. There is a spiritual pattern that brings the anointing to a man's life. And there is a pattern allocated for growth in the anointing. I'm showing you different outcomes that we desire in our lives. And to let you know that they don't happen by magic. Spiritual pattern for the anointing. There are many of them scattered through the Bible. The mystery of brokenness. Prayer and fasting, corporate fellowship, the prophetic impartation, all of these things are patterns. There's a spiritual pattern for activating favor in your life. Favor that we seek so desperately and so dearly operates based on a pattern. How do you know you have activated it? By the result that follows. Simple. If favor is not speaking in your life, it means that there is something about the pattern that brings favor. Please listen, my brothers and my sisters. If it is not working in your life, be patient. Don't be angry with yourself. But just be honest to say this thing is not working somewhere. Building and maintaining relationships, there is a pattern allocated for it. As, as sociological as it looks, it is spiritual in every way. There are many of you, you are alone in life. There is no helper in your life. It means there is a pattern you are violating that is responsible for relationships. Anybody, I'm not necessarily talking of love relationships. But anybody that comes into your life, the lifespan of their stay is two weeks or three weeks. And they get out of your life. And they live with the treasures they came with. It means there is something you do not know. Maybe you need to learn the law of honor. Maybe you need to learn how to be friendly. Maybe you need to learn to keep your mouth shut. These are powerful mysteries. Why would somebody walk into my life intending to bless me? Maybe financially or otherwise. And then something I am not doing drives the person. Many of our families, our loved ones today have retired. And for 30 years, 35 years, there is no quality relationship that can translate to a stream of income to bless them. You find out people who worked at, they got to the zenith of their career and now retired. They have to wait for pension to survive because they violated relationships. Yet a houseboy who was cleaning your house. I was ministering in Abuja and one dear lady, a powerful worshiper from Ghana, and the lady came and sang i was so blessed so blessed and the lady shared her testimony and she said she used to be a cleaner in a house she would come and sweep and clean and every time she would sing and she said lord i may not have had the privilege of a good family but there has to be something about my life but she found out that she would do it with joy and gladness the rest is history god con connected her one to someone and your people like that today she's one of the leading prophetic worship voices in ghana there is a pattern for relationship the moment your friend comes and the first thing you are looking at is his shoe his hair is is with one and all of that you are already staring competition and jealousy are, are we together now good morning will i greet you are you not my i come are you not my are you not my junior brother and you start bringing all these tribalistic things and the person just says look I need to leave this person. He has a personal problem. 
that has nothing to do with me. Are you seeing that now? It is painful. Let me tell you, the departure of a destiny helper is, is, a, is a thing that demands crying. Because God stores his possibility in men. So when men depart from your life, it's the departure of the glory of God. There are certain men when they leave, it's a, it's a miracle. You should celebrate. Building and maintaining relationships. There are many of us, your father hates you. And your father is a sound Christian. Just because you answered the call of God early, everybody must kneel down and worship you in the house. Have you seen people like that? Just because you prophesy to your father, he needs to greet you every morning. But I said, nonsense, you may be a prophet, but I gave birth to you. Oh no. Some persons may want to help you, but when they remember how bad your heart is, that you speak evil of every good done to you, they just say, mm -hmm, to your tent, O ye Israel. Patterns. You walk alone, you cry alone, you pray alone, you complain alone, if something is 100 naira, you must have 100 naira to pay. No friend, no relationship. Something is wrong. A model marriage is based on patterns. Not desire, not luck. Subscribing to that pattern is how the man will never slap the woman. The woman slap the man. Are we together now? Yes. You are allowed to change every other thing in your life except your wife and your husband. You must cry for the pattern. You change your hair, you change a cloth, and it's not like the man or the woman is growing younger. And yet you are supposed to be happily married. That means there has to be a secret that is not scientific. Let's be honest. Are we together? Remember when you bought the shoe you threw away last year? When you bought that shoe, you were smiling from the boutique. Six months later, you hate the shoe. You look at the shoe and you can't imagine that this shoe was actually bought. That's the same thing that will happen to your wife. The same thing that will happen to your husband. The same thing that will happen to your children. Until you understand the pattern allocated. I told you patterns guarantee predictability. Longevity. Hmm. Longevity is governed by a spiritual pattern. It is true. Now, many people may just think that longevity is luck. But I've studied the concept of longevity. There is a spiritual pattern responsible for it. What of restoration and exemption? We've taught all these things in this house. That means that there is a pattern in the dealings of God with men that when opportunities depart from your life there is hope for a tree hallelujah maybe this is a word from from God to someone in the world system when you lose something that's it it's gone but in this kingdom Ezekiel 37 you see that that although you cannot see the bones they know where they are they know themselves and when the right voice speaks the bones will return back and become an army so you can see someone you have concluded about him and said oh dear so this is how this man will end his life nothing good can come out of him nothing good will come out of her they will tap into the patterns that are allocated for restoration you will see them bounce back with honor and glory there are many others but this is just to show you that for every outcome you desire there is a spiritual pattern, a pathway, a methodology authorized by God to help you get there. Now listen, hold on please. In one minute, I'd like you to think of something that you know with all humility is working in your life now. Don't write it, just think it. There has to be something working in your life. If nothing is working in your life, watch out for the prayer at the end of this service because that, that's a real attack. Now, I want you to think of something you know is not working in your life. Be honest, there's nothing, you are not going to hell. It doesn't mean you don't have faith. Some of you, you see how long you are thinking? Because there are plenty. Hi, what is, what is even working? 
A, B, D. Only thing that is working, maybe my salvation, maybe this. I'm not talking of just something tangible. That is a revelation that you have not understood a pattern. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. You only succeed in this kingdom when you build according to pattern. You only succeed in this kingdom when you build according to pattern. When I found this in my life, I started writing down some of these things that I shared with you. And I started searching desperately like a madman for the spiritual patterns that are responsible for those results. I want to be better than I am now. I want to be a better version of myself now. And I know that growth is a pattern. So you subscribe to the patterns that bring growth and you will rise. Oh, I came from a poor family. Lord, is this how we are going to be? God says, no, this is not my will. So Lord, what do we do? Ask for the ancient paths. Wherein is the good way? He says, and walk therein. You will find rest. That's a word from God. Lord, what do I do about my finances? Ask. Lord, this issue of job. We are 11 graduates in our family. There is no worker. Nobody is working. That family does not need just a job. That family needs a miracle. A thorough understanding of God's systems. If one person gets a job of 40,000, is the family still free? The workload on that one person will kill the person and recycle the pain back again. As a man of God, you find out nobody's placing a demand on your grace. No invitations. Nobody is blessing you. They finish ministration and they escort you like thieves and just search from their pocket, bring out one or two thousand and just say, please, let's shake and just say, okay, bros, God bless you. That means there is something you are not getting. Is, it, is that how to reward a servant of God for laboring to preach for two hours, healing the sick? And It means you don't have to tell them, I'm not going to collect. This is too small. No, change your pattern and you will see that the results will change. That means there may be something about excellence and administration and all of that that you do not know. Are we together now? Yes. I went for my brother's wedding very briefly before I would pass to Gombe. And I saw several people from my village that I had not seen for a long time. And what do you think I was going to Calm down. I'm the one I'm teaching here. Wonderful people, by the way. And there was this gentleman, the last time I saw him was probably maybe 13, 14 years. And the guy kept following me around. I said, what is, what is, um, you know, I said, please, you are embarrassing me. What is, what is the issue? And of course, you, you know that once, the, I, I don't know how they think. You know, he was just following around and frowning. I see if I owe him something. And I said, what's the issue? I said, you know, nothing, nothing. And I looked at him, I just said, Kai, this boy. Imagine that it was in my heart to bless him now. That foolishness is already out of pattern, like many of you do. Don't come to a blessed man looking at his pocket. Come to a blessed man thinking of how you can help him. That becomes the key to his heart. I will tell you why many of our rich uncles drive us and we keep dropping their names here and they are not cursed because God is not a fool. I'm going to be an uncle. I'm somebody's uncle somewhere too. So I'm not ready to put my name in one prayer request and say just because you asked for something. <laughs> uncle, good afternoon. Um, Happy New Year. Yes, what is I, I just want to let you know that there's rent, there's school fees. How much is the school fees? You said 5,000 before just because you say how much. Well, sir, it's not exactly 5,000. The issue is that the way we do it here, when we pay school fees, we transport ourselves here and we need this the pattern of wisdom is not there and the uncle looks at you and already knows you are a thief because you are trying to take advantage of his generosity you kill favor from your life and your family how about fighting landlords you are a tenant you are fighting the landlord 
look at the, on the servant who was in trouble read your bible when the master was going to he just knelt down and begged and said please there's there's nothing just know what you say okay i forgive you and then he went back to oppress others but at least he was wise david knew god god said now i give you an option let me deal with you myself or let me give your enemies say enemies god let's do it these people men don't have mercy you are the only one who is merciful so let's i can beg you somewhere along the line so those of you who run away from god you don't know that you are running you are running away from safety and mercy no matter what don't run from god don't run from god you run to men men are killers they have a track record of killing anything but it is only god whose mercy he says his mercies are new every morning god can say i will punish you tomorrow and in the next two hours you have touched his heart you don't even sometimes you just put a worship song and he keeps hearing the song is dedicated to you while you are sleeping and say what is this by morning you wake up with favor and say god i thought you were angry say my anger only endures for a moment first corinthians 3 verse 10 what is our challenge as believers that we be careful how we build many of us are building things that are out of pattern and my brothers and sisters let me tell you the world has its way of doing things and if we subscribe to the way of the world to do things you will be in trouble there are many believers that don't give do you know why because they have been they they will not tell you they hate giving or they they, they, they they believe they love giving but it's not yet a revelation they have not seen it as a spiritual pattern to increase and then the only thing they give is tight and offering and say god that's it you too you saw it i gave you tight i gave you offering that's already proof that greed is near your door there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. It's true. He says, but let every man take heed how he build it. So that you don't waste your time building according to an invention of yourself. And then in the end of it, when the fire of God that comes to prove men... To see whether their buildings last so that they are rewarded it comes and all your 10 years has been a total waste of time there is nothing there going to church for 10 years but building according to a pattern you want and when God is allocating new graces for people new anointings all right let me see what you have done the fire passes this is solid fresh grace the fire passes fresh prophetic more wealth more membership and they come to you and they see a mountain and fire blows it and what is there is not even up to a stone and god says that again you invented this pattern by yourself are we together now yes sir. is it not in your bible that when the owner of the talents came to prove the people. The person who he gave something before. It's not only Satan that collects things from people. My brothers and my sisters. The gift of God is without repentance. But the talent he gives you, he collects it. But that talent is money. It's not just talent like ability to sing alone. Mm -mm. God gives you something, you misuse it. You will be shocked to see what will happen. We have this mindset that everything God gives you is once given, always given. It's a lie. Go and read your Bible see be careful how you are taught just because a thing is a mainstream understanding you just receive it the person who is teaching on the anointing and teaching on those things to what degree are they working in it he said that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled even of the word of life that's what we teach there are things that god gives men my brothers and my sisters he watches out for stewardship and if he finds out that there is no steward let his bishopric another take is it not in your bible the bishopric was allocated for him but he says let his bishopric another take
So it is possible. There are three things that building according to pattern guarantees. Number one, the manifest glory of God. The glory of God. The stamp, the seal of his presence that guarantees all the possibilities you desire. Exodus chapter 25. Let's read verse 9. Or let's read from verse 16. Exodus 40. Let's just jump to 40 for time's sake. Exodus chapter 40. We'll read verse 16, then 33 to 35. Exodus 40 and verse 16. Read with me, Koinonia. One to read. First did Moses. Uh huh. According to all that the Lord commanded him, so did he. Go to 33. And he reared up the court round about the tabernacle of the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work. But he didn't just finish the work he wanted to do. He finished the work according to the pattern that was given to him. 34. What happened? Then a cloud. After he finished according to pattern, then a cloud covered the tent of the meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Next verse, 35. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation. Why? Because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord rested upon it. The glory of God comes to confirm that you followed patterns correctly. The, the glory of God upon a life upon a ministry upon a family among other things is a confirmation that spiritual patterns if i see the glory of god upon your career if i see the glory of god upon your life upon your family upon your ministry it is proof that a pattern has been kept genesis chapter 4 And Adam knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Read on. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain a tiller of the ground. Verse 3. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Everybody say an offering. So we know he brought an offering. Verse and Abel also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Bible says, And the Lord had respect first unto Abel and then to his. Two of them brought offerings before God. Just that you are offering something before God does not mean he will receive it. The Bible says he had respect, regard for the offering of Cain, of Abel, and left that of Cain. Verse 5. But unto Cain and his offering. He had not respect and Cain was very wrought and his countenance fell. He was angry. Verse 6. And the Lord said to Cain, Why art thou wrought? Why art thou angry? And why is thy countenance fallen? Verse 7. This is where the message is. If thou doest well, that means you do well when you do according to pattern. There was something Abel did. In other words, your father mentored both of you and showed you the pathway already. Abel followed according to the pattern and I received it. You violated it and it was not received. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? That means if thou dost not do well, shall thou not be rejected? Notice what I told you earlier on. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at your door. What sin? Jealousy. You see, you see what I was telling you? Every time you don't pay attention to follow results thoroughly, the patterns that produce them, the frustration that comes as a result of your not getting it will make you to search around for Abel. If you are Cain, you will keep looking for Abel everywhere. Even if he's your brother, you will look for him till you kill him. Career people, this is the secret behind the anger that comes when one person out of five people are promoted. So what do you think you are? Every time the sacrifice of Abel is taken and that of Cain is rejected, sin 
is at the door of Cain and is the scene of bitter jealousy and hatred. That means for many jealous people, the issue is not the issue on ground. The issue is you need to go back and say, Lord, what can I do so that my sacrifice will also be accepted? The prophets of Baal and Elijah, same thing happened. The prophets of Baal were doing their thing and fire did not come down. And when it was time, Elijah didn't just say, oh, fire, come down. No, Elijah said, set up the altars, put 12 stones, patterns. When he put everything, he now called on God. You don't call God before you fix it. You make sure that the altar is in place, the sacrifice on it. Then you call down the fire. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted. But if you do not do well, not only will you be rejected, sin. Please get this. This is a powerful message. Anybody today that you have jealousy or you see the person and something in you, you just wish the person will at least fail a little to console you. It's not like you are bad. It is proof that your patterns have been violated. And so you hope that the person's sacrifice will also be rejected so that two of you will become partners in that rejection. When your sacrifice continues to be accepted, you find out that the love of God grows in you because there is nothing to fight. You see that? Yes. But when you sit down and give people a flimsy excuse that God cannot touch you, God cannot lift you because you didn't do A and B and somebody comes in the name of Jesus and raises one song and everything you say God cannot do, God is doing it. The person who gave that proposition will just smile but hatred has begun. Sin lieth at your door every time your patterns are violated. So the glory proves that the patterns have been kept. Let me tell you this. Please families hear me. When you find out especially that all of a sudden the heavens close over you financially, no help no favor please go back carefully and check if you are honest and sincere a pattern has been violated and the, the painful thing about family is because they are connected one person seen like a can other people can also benefit from it i was counseling a family one time and i remember and you know the wife was talking and said we are tight as we are this i kept looking at the man he kept looking at me like jonah because he, he knew that that statement was relative. My spirit just kept looking at him. I said, no. I looked at him and I said, Mr. Man, I want to be honest with you. God gave you an instruction one time to sow a seed to a man of God. He said, yes, sir. I said, did you do it? They added money in, that, in what I told them with the wife to make the money. And the man was supposed to take it. He cornered the money. Part of the money from what God showed me, he bought petrol for car and then some needs came and that's how it went. And he came back and lied to his wife that the man of God blessed them. God is not a fool, my brothers and my sisters. You must not do it, Aquila and Priscilla. You must not do it, but if you would do it, do it according to the pattern. Was the land money not your own? Was everything not your own? You have lied against the Holy Ghost. There are people who collect money from their parents they say they are coming to sow to men of God. On the way, they spend the money and enjoy everything and come and stand and just smile and snap the man of God blessing them and say, you see, no, you can do this for men, but not in the realm of the spirit. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run. Number two, quickly. Building according to patterns guarantees sustainability of results. It's one thing to have results, but the results must be sustainable. Matthew chapter 7 from verse 24 to 27. Matthew chapter 7. Jesus is teaching here. Matthew chapter 7. Therefore, look up please Koinonia. Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, 
I will liken him unto a wise man which built. Everybody say built. Upon a rock. Solid foundation. Next verse. And the rain descended. And the floods came. And the wind blew. And beat upon the house. And it fell not. Why? For it was founded upon a rock. Next verse. And everyone that heareth the sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened to a foolish man. Where, what is his foolishness? That he built his house upon sand. The foolishness is not in the dexterity of the building, but the fact that all that is a wasted project because the patterns, you don't build on sand. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell. Listen. And great was the fall of it. Was it because the building was wrong? The pattern. That means it is possible to be given every week. You carry envelope. Tight has come up and you are coming but you are not tightening according to pattern. You are like the man building here. For you, tight is just a bribe. And you drag and come frowning and you are eyeing the person who is, is collecting the thing and just looking around and wondering what are they going to do with our money. Oh yeah, let me just drop. You have violated the pattern. The Bible didn't say give to the Lord. It said honor the Lord. Honor, honor. Recognize that he does not need it. It is a spiritual transaction that brings you increase and opens your heavens. So you approach him, Lord, I am grateful with all my heart. I thank you. If God places a demand upon you, for instance, you know that it is a time for lifting. But many people will sit down and complain and run their mouth and do everything. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. The Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver, not a giver, a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver is not a smiling giver. A cheerful giver is one who has a revelation of the harvest and the integrity that backs that harvest. That the only way Satan destroys the harvest of men is to stop them from sowing. But if that seed has touched the soil of the ground and it is left to grow, then God gives increase. No man gives increase. Increase is of God. Stability of results. We all want sustainable results. So you must build according to pattern. There are patterns that God showed me that govern the anointing and govern increase in ministry. And God told me if you keep these patterns, it will be impossible to fail. It's true. I believed him. I still do. And I have kept those patterns. And it's amazing what God does. You need to return back to say, Lord, where am I missing it in these patterns? My results vacillate. My results vacillate. That means something is wrong. Have you tried to on light? And let's assume that one of the wires is touching. You see how the light comes up, then goes up. You are trying to hook the whole thing, let it stay well. But notice that when you tie it and screw it well, you put it on the wall, every time you hit that bulb, the light comes and stays for as long as you command it to stay through obedience. So next time when you come and switch off your light and it doesn't on, or it ons and offs, ons and offs, check the bulb spiritually or go and unscrew everything. And you find out that because you didn't tie it well, children were playing around and they removed that thing. You adjust it like Elijah. Bring back those patterns and fire will fall once again. When you see a man of God that used to be anointed, used to be powerful, used to be great, used to be miraculous, and then all of a sudden church goes down, grace goes down, everything goes down. Yes, I agree it can be an attack. But the whole excuse cannot just be around the attack. You need to go back and say, Lord, what is it? Was it pride? What, what did I miss? And I'm telling you, men can be laughing at you there, but if you set up that altar again, fire will still fall. Are we together now? Number three. Building according to pattern guarantees peace and confidence. Isaiah 33 verse 6, the A part says that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, stability of thy times. Peace. Anything that is not built according to pattern, you will keep having fear. Do you know success can bring fear? When what you have gotten was not obtained by the knowledge of the patterns that brought it, 
you will fear the instruction from God to give it. One. Number two, you will fear the sustainability of it. I have seen many people that money is like a cost to their life because they don't know how it came and they are always afraid. Afraid of who will steal it. Afraid of this and that. Afraid that even God will join the people to steal it. Where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. There are men of God in ministries like this that would never allow people that they are raising in the ministry to rise because they have not been able to master the pattern that brought the anointing. So they would throw down everybody. Don't rise. Let there be only one person shining and doing well. No. When you understand that there are spiritual patterns, my brothers and my sisters, when you hold the patterns of the spirit, sorry for who is looking for your downfall. He will waste his time till Jesus comes. You are not as powerful as the patterns. It is the patterns that make you look powerful. Follow these patterns and you will watch the prophecy of those who want to see your downfall continue to be disappointed as you rise higher and higher. They look at you and conclude that okay, this young man will he ever rise? But you know the patterns. Someone can bow and beat his chest and say for as long as I'm sitting in this office you will never rise. And you just look at the person and you know that God is the lifter of men and you go back and say Lord I am not looking on to this job. I, my, I lift up my eyes onto the hills. My help cometh from the Lord. And the Lord said, are you sure? Am I your help? You say, yes. Okay, step back. Let me show you how I help men. And you just hear in two days that they've lifted that man from that branch and sent him to another branch. And you send him a valedictory letter. It's, it's my pleasure to watch you go. Can I help you carry your load? Is there any way I can escort you? And God will use his life as a lesson that no man can be God over another person. Listen, there is nothing that has security in this world except the patterns of God. Did you hear what I said? No bank has security. No police headquarters has security. Nothing is secured enough for you to stake your life upon. The only thing that can be secured enough is the patterns of God. A man can promise that I will help you today and change his mind tomorrow and say something came up and I hate you. Period. Why? I am a man. I will give you a job next week and say I've changed my mind. I won't help you again. You can hold your certificate like this and it will look like a newspaper before life. It's not supposed to be but sadly you will hold it and travel around. You will travel abroad and say, I'm a graduate. They say, all that is nonsense. And live as if you never saw the four walls of any institution. But when you hold on to the patterns of God. I never, I never stop, I never stop wondering at these guys that drive these big trucks. All these trucks that it's, it's container that is at the back. Sometimes you see the truck tilted. You, you, you know what I'm talking about? You know that something is wrong with their truck. And you see the people gisting and happy because there is a pattern. They know that there is a system of stability there. And that system of stability is not compromised easily. And you, your ignorance creates an imaginary fear because you do not know the system upon which that truck was built. Sometimes they are about to turn within a small place and you are even pitying them. And you see the fantastic, you see, you see the, the mechanics that happen there. And that car just turns within a small space. Patterns. What you do not know will always create fear in you. If I dash you five naira, when it becomes two naira, you will be afraid. But when the keys of the kingdom, the patterns of God deliver ten naira, even if it's one naira, you smile. Because it's only the money that finishes. The patterns don't die. Are we together now? If all you have, my brothers and my sisters, is what men gave you, and you have not held on to the patterns of the kingdom, then there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee. 
Because every other thing in this life can fail. But my brothers and my sisters, plug your life to God and plug your life to his patterns and what stability in the midst of chaos. And quite honestly, sometimes even you will not know how the breakthrough will come, but you trust the God of patterns. His integrity is behind his patterns. Young man, how will you be established in this Nigeria? Apostle, help me ask the federal government. You are joking. No. You are asking the wrong people. Every young man becomes established. Not just through a job. He becomes established based on his activating the patterns and the keys of the kingdom. And so you cry and say, Lord, show me your ways. Let my eyes see. Oh God, wash my eyes with eyes salve. Let me see something that men do not know. Man of God, how will your church grow? My relatives promise me that they are going to bring, they will start attending my church. How many relatives do you have in that city? Go back to the God of patterns. Let God show you something. And you will see that whether you are at the riverside or the mountain, the crowd will still come because there are patterns that bring them. Handle the pattern that bring the anointing. My brothers and my sisters, you will watch your life become a sign and a wonder first to you and to all that know you. What any man thinks or doesn't think is not withstanding. They are keys. You hold them and you know I've held them. Hold on to the patterns that bring favor. I can look at you and wave you and say, see you at the top and I mean it. Even if at that point you don't have Gary, I will not give you five naira, but I will beat my chest and tell you where to meet me in the future and I can guarantee you will go there. The patterns. This is what we do business with in this kingdom, my brothers and my sisters. The commodity that makes men great, they are the patterns of the kingdom. The, the authorized channels You see this Bible? I want you to believe what is written there. But it is not reading the Bible haphazardly that will bless you. You will need eyes to see what key connects to which one. The patterns of God. Give us Jeremiah chapter 6. We're rounding up. I pray that as simple as this message is tonight, that it will truly minister to someone. That your fear and your instability sometimes you even fear results when they start working because you are not sure it will be sustained wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability they are stabilizers a small child tries to walk and he's not sure he can walk for long so you see how careful he's walking one two and he wants to reach out to the mother but an adult can run he does not expect his strength to fail because his mind has been educated to know that the, the, the legs can take the weight of the body. That knowledge has brought stability to his life. You don't climb your bed in the night wondering. In spite of the noise it makes. You are sure. You saw what the carpenter did. You were a witness. And so you trust what the nails are doing. The area of fear in my life. In your life. In our lives. Are proofs that we have not understood the patterns that govern them. Thus saith the Lord, we're rounding up tonight, Koinonia. Stand ye in the ways, like you stand by the road looking for a car that will take you to a far journey. You come out of your house with a bag ready for a journey. You are going far, but you are standing. Kekenape passes and you say, No, this is not it. Another boss pass. It can even say, should I stop? You say, no. But when you see the car that looks like the one that can take you, you highlight it. You step into that car and trust the driver to take you. Sometimes even after 22 hours, you will still arrive. I trust the patterns that God has put. My first confidence is him and then the invincibility by the privilege of god's grace i have tasted of the invincibility look let me tell you god's patterns are powerful you will see things shake left right and center but you will stand in the midst of it this ministry my brothers and my sisters 
I submit to you that this ministry that you are part of was not built by luck. There is a solid spiritual foundation upon which it sits on. And there is no wave, there is no rain, there is no devil that is capable of capsizing that boat. I want you to build your life on something real. I don't want you to build your life on money. That's a wrong pattern. I don't want you to build your life on people. That's a wrong pattern. I don't want you to build your life on what uncle said. Don't build your life on the expectation of one father's inheritance there. No. You can build your life and sit down and rejoice and say, Lord, I know that my life is great. And people will ask you, where is the evidence? And he said, the evidence is God and the integrity that is behind his patterns. But I know whom I have believed. Hmm. But I know whom I have believed. Listen, hold on. Hold on with this. My brothers and my sisters, come. 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 You begin a journey. Come, gentlemen. We all begin a journey in this big stage called life. And everybody starts working based on whatever he thinks is his security. For this gentleman, it may be his eloquence. For this person, it may be a charm that they gave him in the village before he left. To another person, it may be his education. But to someone somewhere, he says, I know whom I have believed. My father was nothing. My mother was nothing. Lord, I may not have much, but I believe in you. I believe in your patterns. And the green light says go move slowly guys we all begin to walk and the difference begins to show the pride of the uncle keeps this one in one position and is regretting and explaining while the rest keep moving the charm fills this one and he stops somewhere at age 31 never to rise again and another person begins to go his education takes him so far and he makes quite appreciable progress except for the wickedness of his superiors they peg him at a position. But the people that do know their God. Just because you started like the rest does not mean you are like them. Hear what I'm telling you. I am giving you something you will be grateful for. Something you will not need to change after decades of your life. It is painful to trust in something and have to adjust it later. Because you found out it didn't work. Why settle for mundane things? While you can settle for something that works. Just because you have one small car or one small house or one small, those things are nonsense. That's not where your strength lies. Men will promise you and say, I will be there for you. They will be the first to stab you and throw you away. Tonight is a call. God is not only the God of heaven. He is the God of patterns. And the rain came. The rain stopped this one. The storm stopped this one. The wickedness of men stopped number three. But the house that was built on the rock from Zaria to the ends of the earth from your village to the corridors of power from your small room to a palace of royalty from a small corner behind that place to a stadium healing the sick and lifting wheelchairs and they say how did you get here the God of patterns I followed a pattern I stood at the threshold of destiny and I said people have failed and God told me to ask and as I kept looking I saw an old path with grasses all over there and the Holy Spirit told me this is the road the ancient followed and they said although it looks dusty follow it We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river and you follow the path for a while your life may look strange because the pride and the foolishness of men will not allow them to see the wisdom of god it is only when god opens your eyes to see the road some may trust in horses and they may trust in chariots they trust in connections etc etc and let me tell you one by one by one by one the elements and the forces of life will beat down the arrogance of men the job your uncle will give you Sadly, as you were graduating, he died. He's not a bad man. He only died. But when you lift up your certificate, you lift up your gift, and you say, Lord, I'm the only one in my family. I'm the only one in my family. 
Lord, I know that you can help me. Let me share with you a very touching story and then we are done. I want to do something I've not done. Come, darling. This my dear. Come. Yes. Let me tell you something about this adorable lady. And I'm saying it because it's something that... Come. You see this wonderful lady? I, I, I don't know her so much, but it was... I'm saying this because it's... it's it was one of... I, I think it was last year or year before last. During Christmas. Is that so? Also. And I had a very... It was one of the most touching periods in my life. Her dad was paralyzed. And her mom... One night like this, I just had a call. And they said the mom just dropped dead. And it looked like the life of this lady. I love her very much. Are we together? This dear lady was in a position. Dad could not do anything. Mom was there. I'm not trying to embarrass her. This, this, these are things that, you, I mean, the burial was done and all of that. I remember how touching this was. And I put myself in the position of this lady. No support. No nothing. In that situation, she still had to cater for her younger ones. And in spite of everything, you know, people, village people with all their trouble, long and short, everything was over. And when everything was done, this dear lady came. I think it was outside here or somewhere there. I looked at her and I said, my dear, look at me. If you believe the things that I teach you and you believe this truth, you will come out. I tell you, there, the God of patterns will bring you out. You may see her look small. No advantage, no connection. But my God. Ah. Have you not seen God lift men? My brothers and my sisters. What does he have to do for you to believe? I have seen God lift men. I have seen God take no bodies. They were stupid enough to say, I have nothing to lose. Let me give my heart to Christ. Because I gave my heart to every foolish person around me. And it destroyed my life. And you come and say, Lord, I hand my life. I don't have a father. I don't have a mother. Or I have a father who is not like a father. I have a mother who is not like a mother. Lord, like Gideon, I'm the least in my family. My brothers and my sisters, you are not called to know everything. You are called to know the patterns. When you know the patterns of the kingdom, you will start walking like a toddler from one step to another. They'll say, watch out, watch out. He's falling until you start running like a plane about to lift and the next thing they see you in the sky given wings by the spirit of god and they say are you not the villager that could not speak english when i knew you as 12 you said that was me jesus died is true but now he's alive and glorified who is god speaking to tonight that everything around your life is governed not by time listen and not by luck. You will never build a ministry with time. You will never be rich with time. It takes your knowledge of the patterns of God. You are a worshiper. Lord, what is the pattern for the Davidic order of worship ministry? There is too much tribalism in Africa. Who must you know and must you know to rise? Lord, bypass this thing. Give me something that only heaven can give. I'm going to pray. I found it. I found it. My dear brothers are here and they will tell you. Once upon a time, I would spend the night researching on the largest churches in every con continent. I was not looking for the size. What was the secret? And when I found them one by one, I began to write. And when I looked up, I said, Lord, we are ready. Let's take this journey. And when we started, many people laughed and they just looked and said, Oh dear, you can laugh at a man, but don't be foolish enough to laugh at patterns. Patterns are solid, as solid as the God that backs them. You catch the patterns that bring favor. My brothers and my sisters, I give you a guarantee. You will be in your small room there. And the next thing, somebody will come. Others are saving for cars. And somebody will come and say, Kenny, take, take. Benga, take a house. A Jimmy, take. Let me lift you. And someone sits down and says, God told me to lift your family. Who in your family is looking for a job? You say, we are all orphans. Say, no wonder God sent me. 
to a point that you will be thinking there is a catch to it because human beings are not given to be this benevolent for nothing but when you walk with the patterns of god there may be a young minister here just looking and everybody is laughing at you and even you you are laughing at yourself saying lord can i rise the pressure is so much i can't prophesy i can't heal the sick even the revelation is just like trickles my brother listen don't run around trying to look for invitations don't run around trying to look for all this notice me thing is a luciferian spirit stay back in the secret place walk these patterns understand them and you will rise up like david you will stand before goliath and say goliath i'm not rehearsing i'm taking off your head i was shown the formula already when they stood before jericho god said return the pattern for victory has not been given go back before you disgrace yourself but when you catch the patterns you will stand before life and you will rise are you ready to pray listen your life is not at the mercy of situations and circumstances my brothers and my sisters i don't care what is happening to you you are going to pray prayer point number one lord is seeing i open my eyes to see the patterns the patterns that are responsible for the results that i desire is someone please praying tonight Life is not luck. Shalabarado siyakatapalat. A seeing eye, oh God. A seeing eye, the spirit of revelation. That my eyes will be flooded with light. Show me the keys, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to cry before God. Mention the areas in your life you know that you have not caught the patterns. I'd like you to be serious. Say, Lord, I have gotten it in this area and I give you thanks. But this one, my finances, my spiritual life, increase i experience breakthroughs here and there but there is no favor in my life help me oh god Mighty God. few more minutes pray where my father did not go oh God where my mother could not cross where no one has crossed in my family I come in the name of Jesus as the barrier breaker oh
Point number three. I'd like you to prophesy to the forces that stand before you. I come with keys. I do not come alone. I come in the name of the Lord God, the captain of heaven. Therefore, I challenge every door, every demonic pattern, every strange occurrence in my life and destiny. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. The pattern that kept my father down, kept my mother down. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. I will rise. I will prosper. I may be from Plateau State, from Kaduna State, from Lagos, from Kogi. I break the territorial barriers. I break the sociocultural barriers. I break every sentiment of tribe and culture and race and gender in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, I break it in the name of Jesus. I arise, I shine. I arise, I shine in ministry. I arise, I shine in business. I arise, I shine in family, in career. Pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray one final prayer. Somewhere along that prayer, find a place and lay hands on your head. I am the desire of nations. I am Pula and Hepzibah. No territory rejects me. No territory rejects my grace. In the name of Jesus, pray. Shabakato Sakata. You shall be Pula and Hepzibah. In the name of Jesus, no tribal sentiment will victimize me. No religious sentiment will victimize me in the name of Jesus. The honor of Aaron is upon my head in the name of Jesus Christ. The favor of Esther is upon my head. The favor of Daniel is upon my head. The favor of Joseph is upon my head. No enchantment, no divination, no yoke, no spell, no stargazing, no activity of the constellation will affect the glory of God upon my head. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer for us and then we'll round up. Listen. When Jesus was born, a star arose right at the top of where he was and that star became a compass and brought his destiny helpers to him. I'd like you to prophesy and say, Lord, let my glory be lifted. Enough for those who can bless that grace to locate me. Lift your voice and pray. Let the kings come, oh God. Let the Magi come, for the king is born. The king is born. Let the Magi begin to come from the east. May they come, oh God, with gifts of gold, with gifts of frankincense, with gifts of myrrh. In the name of Jesus, let the woman bring her alabaster box. Every blessing, every lifting. Please let me steal out two or three minutes of your time. The Lord just put a very serious request in my heart. The Bible speaks in Luke 18 
about a weak woman who had no help and support and an unjust king, a judge that didn't fear God nor man and the woman came to him, avenge me my adversary. The Bible says for a while he would ignore her but because of her importunity the woman would weary him. The Bible says if that man could avenge her he says how much more shall God avenge for those that call him. He says surely you will avenge it speedily. This is a prayer. I told you that I saw a revelation and I saw speedily. You are going to apply it to your life and say, Lord, become speed to my life. The year is not over. Lord, you are my speed in this season. Give my feet acceleration. Give my finances acceleration. Oh, God of heaven, bring beauty speedily to my life. Take away shame, oh God, from my life. Take away reproach from my life. Speedily, oh God, bring speed to my finances, speed to my spiritual life. I cause everything fighting speed in my life. Pray. Let me share one testimony that happened to one of our loved ones. Um, this is something that is very recent. One of our dear ones who graduated from the school of ministry, he works with fan. And every time um, we're around picking our flights, he's always there to facilitate things, to make things, actually two of them. And something happened, I was traveling, I think about two weeks or so ago, and um, I was just finding out a few details on the flight to Lagos and the gentleman booked it was it was a late flight so it would be very expensive and he insisted and booked the flight for me I said no you didn't have to do this I just asked you to find out and he said no apostle I won't collect anything from you and I said God bless you I traveled when I returned they were there again we returned in the night and he was there with the other gentleman to facilitate my movement my luggage I was tired and uh, when I got to the vehicle, I looked at them and I knew they wouldn't collect anything from me. And, I, and then I looked at him and I jokingly just blessed him. I said, Kai, you people are very useful in this airport. May God keep you in this airport so that you will remain there. He had been, I think, an, an IT student or something like that there. The next day, the very next day, they called them and permanented their job. Yeah. This thing is not difficult when you understand the patterns. The patterns. This could be where we are missing it. Just one small key opens another world in ministry. One small key, another world financially. One small key, another world. Please, when you go back, look out for when these messages are up and download them and listen to them. Don't cheat yourself. It is not some jamboree, okay, I came for koinonia tonight. No, take out time with the spirit and stay and say, Lord, what am I not seeing? For everyone that asks it, receive it. If you truly ask and pray, you will find it. Lord Jesus, we give you praise for tonight. I speak over everyone. The patterns that you need by every spiritual means possible may God get the revelation to you I say it again in the name of Jesus the pattern the blueprint that you will need for whatever it is that you're trusting God for may the God that I serve the God of patterns show you the path to walk in and may your results begin to speak and speak consistently. You will never rise up and go down. You will rise up and stay up. Above all those who mock your God. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
amen and amen tonight let me please help those under the anointing there there are people here let's let's just give them two minutes there's someone here tonight saying apostle the first pattern i need to return to is handing my entire life to jesus i'm yet to make that decision truthfully you may be in the overflow one two three online in here wherever you are let me give you an opportunity very quickly we do not have all the time you're rededicating your life or you're handing your life to jesus for the first time it will be my joy to pray with you i'd like you to leave your seat and boldly come stand here right in front and i will pray with you there has to be someone who god is speaking to and he's saying apostle i want to give my life to jesus if there's someone outside please clear the way for them inside please clap for them i'm sure there has to be someone hallelujah you are rededicating your life to christ you are saying apostle i have seen the way my life is and i need jesus i don't believe he's the only one someone has to come and join him leave your seat quickly 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 we have spoken about patterns the glory confirms patterns don't sit back and cheat yourself let it be from the depth of your heart are you coming quickly you can stand darling please stand stand god bless you gentlemen thank you jesus i need you in my life make your way to the front lord i love you but i'm not sure i don't know if i'm born again or not join them very quickly i'm not sure you are welcome to join them you have to be sure tonight apostle i'm a good person but i'm not sure join them goodness is not the key to heaven jesus is the only way the truth and the life hallelujah thank you so much ladies and gentlemen thank you for making this bold decision i want you to repeat this after me pray from the depth of your heart you're not reciting a point let this be truthful mean it jesus is in this place lift your right hand and say after me passionately and truthfully say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i return back to the original pattern that gives me life i hand my life over to you i hand my days over to you i receive your life into my spirit and i declare that from tonight i am a child of god jesus is my lord i move forward ever and backward never amen and amen jesus we thank you for this ones you died for you brought them by your spirit tonight and i ask that you will honor them take them from glory to glory may they enjoy your grace in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there's a lady waving her hands there please all of you in concert just follow the lady waving her hands there and there will be a group of people to welcome you Let hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you 